And now I'm going to show you how to make a muzzle flash within this. So let's get rid of all alphas. This is just a very cheap way of making muzzle flash. And we're probably going to have some sprites driving it too, but I like to have this texture that kind of goes on and off very quickly. It, it makes it even more hypnotic looking. And it gives it that, you know, age old feeling of a 2D side scroller. So in here, let's make a new layer. And let's grab some gray, grayish black. And we're just going to kind of sketch this in. And I want to sketch it in using the opacity and flow down a little bit. So. And the reason I'm using gray is because we're going to be doing something special with gray. And you can put these little hints out here if you want to. You can make your muzzle flash as epic as you want. Just showing you that the basics. Okay, there we go. And now if I take this and I choose a color, let's say I choose blue. Okay. And I'm going to choose a darker blue. Right around here, like bluish turquoise. And then change this to linear dodge add. I can now go in here and start adding some of this in. And what this does, it makes a very contrasty uh, look over the top of gray. There has to be a color here, however, or it's going to look like that. Okay, so we keep going at it. And it, it becomes such a contrast difference. It becomes hard to look at even. So that's what I like about it. And now if you want, you can kind of do a little bit of cleanup on the outside edge. You know, I might want to take and blur the outside edge using a softer eraser. Okay, that, that becomes an easy way to blend it into transparency. But you want to leave a little bit of black out there for the fact that, you know, that it's going to have a little bit of smoke coming out of the chamber, too. Also, we have to find the, the center of this document. To do that, um, I'm going to try to eyeball it at first, but there is a snap feature in here. Let's snap. And remember, I put the X right in the center. So that means if I just snap this by turning everything off and then going in here, I can feel the snap right there. So now I know that this needs to come down just a little bit using the move tool and that's where X should be. All right. Okay. Now all we do is have to make an alpha out of that. So command click in the area and go into alpha and make a new alpha. And you can look at this alpha and you can see that it's nice. It's got the 50% mark on there where everything is white, it's perfectly transparent. Everything gray is um, a little bit semi-transparent. Okay, good. So I'm going to save this as muzzle flash. With an alpha. And then back in Maya, I could bring in that muzzle flash right here. And I can attach that to my plane using the color and also using the transparency. And you can see that it's 
it's missing something because uh, remember I made these planes uh, based upon uh, the transform of these. So the planes <laughs> looks like I should have uh, thought that a little ahead. So let's uh, delete that plane, that plane, and this plane. Make sure my face normal is sticking out. It is. And let's look at the UVs and fix those up. Also, I can make this perfectly centered now that I've done it here instead of done it after the fact. So that that's a good thing, I guess. All right, so there we go. Now all you need is to duplicate that over and then meet me in the next video where we finally skin it. But I wanted to take that time to definitely correct it now. If we tried to do it later on, we would be end up doing it on a, a system based upon a different rotation. And you know, this just gives you the opportunity to think, think ahead that way. Alright, so meet me in the next video where we skin the character.